Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Culinary Vlogs by Z. My name is Zakia and today we're going to be making a 10 minute drop donut recipe with a spicy infused caramel dipping sauce. So if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to like and comment below as this gives me feedback as to how my recipes and vlogs are going. The origin of donuts is highly debated as the concept of fried dough is not exclusive to one country but can be seen throughout the world. Let's get started on this quick and easy drop donut recipe with a spicy infused caramel sauce. I'm going to start by adding in two anise seeds. Then I'm going to add in a few cinnamon sticks. Those are quite small. If you have one big cinnamon stick, that will work as well. Then I'm going to add in 125 ml of fresh cream. And I'm going to leave this to infuse for about 15 minutes. While the fresh cream and spices are infusing, I'm going to add in one cup of caster sugar and switch on the stove to about medium heat. If you start stirring this sugar, it's going to start crystallizing on the sides and that is just going to completely ruin your sauce. So caramelizing sugar does take time and I would suggest not stirring this or touching it, just leaving it as is in the saucepan. Patience is key to making this caramel. So once you see the sides getting glossy, you'll notice that the sauce starts to thicken. And this is when you can just move the sugar around. Once all the sugar has melted and you see this lovely golden brown color, you can add in about 90 grams of melted butter and keep stirring this. And notice that I am lifting the pan off the stove because I don't want it to burn. And now I've just placed the pan over the stove and I switched off the stove and I'm going to add in the fresh cream mixture, which is spiced with the aniseed and cinnamon. And I'm going to sieve it in so that we don't get these spicy bits into the sauce. And once you add in your fresh cream, you need to work quite fast to get this consistency. And look at this lovely, rich, caramel sauce that we've made. So I'm going to take the sauce and pour it into a bowl. And this is our beautiful caramel sauce. The sauce will actually stay in the fridge for about a week and you can use it in desserts, cakes and even on ice cream. So here I've got two bowls. One is to mix our wet ingredients and the other is to mix the dry ingredients. And let's start with the wet ingredients first. In this bowl, I'm going to add in about 30 ml of butter and that's melted butter. Then I'm going to add in two eggs. Thank you. 
one cup of buttermilk then I've got two teaspoons of vanilla extract and just beat this all together until it has all incorporated properly and this is what the wet ingredients that we added together will look like it looks nice and thick and creamy for our dry ingredients I'm adding in 300 grams of all-purpose flour So that's 300 grams of flour, and half a teaspoon of baking powder, three tablespoons of the caster sugar. So the baking powder actually gives it a good rise and the sugar obviously makes it a bit sweet. And once you've added this into the bowl, give all the ingredients a quick mix. Then make a well in the center. Add in the wet ingredients and mix this to a nice soft batter. So you will notice that the batter isn't very Thick. it's actually quite runny and this is fine leave it to sit for about 15 minutes and while this is resting we're going to heat our oil for frying so here I've got two bowls the first one's got some oil it's sunflower oil and I've dipped my spoons in them and then this is the batter that's ready to be frying and I've got a plate with some kitchen towels and this is actually used to drain out the oil after frying. So let's take our oil spoons and test a little bit of the batter to see if it is fine for frying. And I think we need to wait a few more minutes before frying. Let's try a few more. I'm taking my oiled spoons and I'm just going to place them into the pan. So the donuts are not going to be perfectly round shape. They would look like kind of um, fritters and we will wait for them to fry until they are golden brown in color. I've just turned these over so that it is nicely fried on both sides and still not golden brown so we're going to wait a little while more. And once they are this lovely golden brown color, we're going to remove them from the oil and place them over some kitchen towel. And repeat the frying until all the batter is finished. While these fritters are still hot, we're going to toss them in some caster sugar. And these, ones are, these are the ones that we just fried. And then you can store these for up to three days. So here I've individually placed the drop donuts into bowls for serving. And I've got my caramel sauce that I made earlier and it's ready to be served. Now, it would be rude if I didn't taste this myself. And that's the inside of the drop donuts. 
So let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed making this recipe and how it tasted for you. As always, thank you to all my loyal subscribers who like and comment on my vlogs. Until the next vlog, happy baking!